Hey there, everyone. I I hope y'all have been able to have a great week and that you were able to face your fears. So, uh, this week I've I, I too have been able to face my fears and and that specific fear is wearing a mask in public and talking to another person ah oh, that that's that's like so hard for me and you might be wondering why that, that even would would even face anyone well <laughs> The reason why is because one, I I rely a lot on on facial expressions and and people um, on and if people understanding that I'm trying to speak. And so when when I have a mask over me, right, and I'm talking to another person, um they they don't know that I'm trying to talk because I have a mask over me and so w when I'm ch trying you know with with the lips and you know trying to get that word out they they don't see that and so because they don't see that they they think that I'm not talking or that I didn't hear them and it just uh, it causes like all of these different little <laughs> problems and I uh, just drives me insane um, and so for for a little bit I've, I've kind of been avoiding um, going inside and like actually ordering food because it's oh I, I really just didn't like it and so I I was avoiding it and I know I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry but I <laughs> I I I too kind of um, resist um, going into certain s situations like that, but I've been getting better because today, for like an hour and thirty minutes, I I had to wear a, a mask and and I actually had to talk, and so that that was a little challenging for me, but. I I got through it, um, and um, and just like a a little woohoo uh, type of thing is that I I had just recently um, gotten a a job as a respite and a, and a habilitation. Um, caregiver uh, for for this date and so I think it's pretty cool and and so with that um, um, I have to um, go to doctor's appointments with the child or with the, the adult um, and learn more um, about how how I can help the person that I am providing for, and um, and so that that has helped me to kind of face my fear more of talking with a mask on. And, um, and, um, I remember, um, somebody asking about, like, about how it is for me when I read a book, right? So, I, I brought one of my books that I've been reading, um, um, on and off, it's, it's, um, the choice. And and it's by a, a by a, a a Holocaust survivor. It's it's really good. 
So, I mean, there are some parts that really make me mad in here, just different little things that, uh, about, um, about choices that, uh, um, that she makes and, and other people make, and it's, it's a good book, um, um, I'm just not very good at, um, uh, 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 keep on, on, uh, on keeping on track with <laughs> reading every day, you know, I, I read for like a few days, and then I, I stop, and then I read again, and then I stop, and yeah, so I've been, uh, really on and off with this book. But to give you an example of how it is for me when I read, I thought I'd read just a little bit. Okay. So, um, it took a while for her to s settle in to let her attention move away from the surface experience. She kept shifting in her chair, brushing a stray hair from her forehead, clearing her throat, but then her breathing deepened and slowed. Her body became still. She grew deeply relaxed as she ventured within. Her face looked untroubled. Before I guided her back out through her ear canal, I asked if there was anything she wanted to tell me about what <clears throat> she had felt or discovered inside. I thought it, it would be so dark in here, she said, but there's so much light. A few months later, she called with devastating news. Her breast cancer was no longer in remission. It had returned and was spreading rapidly. She said, I don't know how long I have, she told me. She planned to do the inside-outside, inside-out exercise every day so that she could empty herself of the inevitable ang anger and, felt, and, and fear she felt and fill herself back up with love and light. So... Um, I, with me just reading, you may have been able to tell that I, I was able to be a little bit more fluent, and, and though there were some words that I got stuck on, um, I, I, uh, um, can, can, continued onward um, and uh, and one of the things that has really um, really fascinated me more about reading out loud is is that when I'm when I'm focused on the words I I don't um, I don't stutter as much, and uh, just one second, there, um, there's a kid coming this way, so I'll just, okay, um, um, and so, what I've realized is that when I, I, read out loud um, my only focus is is the words um, and and so okay I'm gonna write my one word just real quick Where should I ride to?
Hmm. Sorry, just one second. Um, get right to the church. Yeah, I'll just try this way. So, just, just so y'all see, I ride a longboard. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. Alright, we are on board. Watch out for these cars. Um, and so, anyways, what I've noticed is that when when I focus on the words, um, I'm not focused on my stutter. And and um, i which which uh, um, really just fascinates me. Because if I'm focused on on uh, on something else, then then I'm not focused on how I talk. And so when I'm not focused on how I talk, then I'm able to speak more fluently. And and so when like learning a, another language, I'm focused on the language itself and not the stutter. Which, which I think is really cool because then, then it goes back and and uh, it shows you that that how we think is everything and what we focus on is what we see and so if we focus on our stutter then all we're ever gonna focus on or, or notice is, is how we talk. So, um, I would encourage all of you to really focus on, on, uh, on something else rather than how you talk. Um, and so that could be like, reading out loud, or that could be singing, or that, that could be learning another language. And, um, or, whoa! <laughs> you always have to watch out for those rocks, because if, if you don't watch out for those rocks, then you will fall. I can't tell you how many times I've I've um, biffed it on the longboard, but but I'm um, as so so anyways, um, um I would like all of you to focus on on something besides your stutter, and and I. I I know that that's going to be really hard because you're going to be like, how, how in the world am I supposed to not focus on, on the way that I talk? But, but I, I, I promise you that, that it, it can really work, and, um, and that, that, that if you have a positive mindset, then you can do anything anything you want because it's it's your focus that that nothing's impossible and so when you believe that then that nothing nothing will stop you and so i i hope all of you will will have a a great day and that and and that you won't hold back, but that you'll go forward and and be the brave and courageous person that I know you can be. So I I will see all of you on Sunday, and I'll I'll. See 
see y'all later. Bye.